Hi everyone, this is Carrie Jones, your Jamberry Independent Consultant. Today I'm going to walk you through applying uh, Jamberry nail wraps to juniors or children. Sizing of the wraps is very important, just like the adult wraps. We want to make sure we can see a little bit of nail on either side of the wrap and that is not touching the cuticle. Some of the equipment that you're going to need is your wraps, your heat source, which could be a blow dryer or a heater, rubbing alcohol, cotton swab or paper towel, nail clippers, tweezers, a buffing block, a freezer Ziploc bag, and if you're cutting adult wraps down to size for a child, some scotch tape, pen, and scissors. So if you're using the junior wraps, you size them up the same as the adult wraps. You hold them up to the nail and ensure that you can see some nail on either side of the wrap. If you're using adult wraps that you're cutting down to size, it's a little more tedious and takes a little bit more time. What I do is I take a piece of scotch tape, I apply it to her nail, and I use the pen to trace the sides of her nail and the cuticle. I also like to trace the top of her nail just so I know approximately how long it currently is, knowing that it's going to be a little bit shorter than that when I'm complete, or when I'm finished. I trace all of the nails just on one hand. I don't do both hands unless she has an odd shaped nail on the other hand. I would then trace that one as well. Now I'm a little bit anal so I like to label them. I like to label everything so I label them thumb, index, middle, pinky, and ring finger or ring and pink, uh, pinky just so that once I'm done I know which one's which. I like to take the tape and fold it down just so it gives me a little bit of a tab to work with when I'm cutting them out. I take a pair of scissors. I use manicure scissors. You can use any kind of scissors and I just cut out each uh, fingernail shape so that I've got it all set ready to go. I also then stick it to the, the piece of paper that I have there. Again, this is only necessary if you're cutting down large wraps for someone very, with very small fingernails. So what I do is I take the wrap that I'm going to be using. I can get all 10 fingers out of this one wrap. I cut the wrap out of my sheet of wraps. And then I cut out the, the shape uh, of, the, of the piece of tape that I've made. Here I cut straight across. I know that I can get two thumbnails out of the width of one of these wraps and I just cut it approximately where the end of my tape is. Peel the tape off, stick it down on the piece of paper. It's not actually stuck, it's still on the backing. I then cut out the other one as well. Sorry about the spoons and things. It's hard to do this with a toddler around. I usually do it on a table that she doesn't have access to. I, after I've taken them off the, or the tape off of them, I usually go back and I just trim up any little sharp corners or edges on those wraps to make them nice and rounded and a little bit nicer looking so that they look nice when they're on her hands. I then do the same process for all the other fingers. Now I flipped that index finger piece of tape off and I could not for the life of me find it. So I just continued on with the the middle index or middle ring and pinky finger and because the pinky finger is or the ring finger and index are very similar I used that size wrap. Now as a guide you do want to pay attention to the design that is on the wrap so that it is facing the correct direction that you would like. If you've got pictures or anything you want to make sure they're going to be upright on the nails. If it's an ombre you want to make sure you've got that situated how you want it for their nails. Now nail prep is incredibly important with children. They have very oily nails naturally so we want to make sure that they are as oil free as we can get them. Best thing to do, have them wash their hands with dish soap. Dish soap is meant for cutting grease. Now what I'm doing here is I've taken a cuticle pusher and I'm pushing back her cuticles. You can use a cuticle pusher, an orange stick, you can even use your fingernail. I push them back as far as she will allow me. She's sleeping here because she holds still a little bit better for videoing, um, but that allows me to get her cuticles back nice and far. I then take a buffer block and I give her nails a little bit of a buff. This just roughens them up a little bit so that the adhesive of the wraps have something to attach to. 
Now we already washed her hands with dish soap prior to beginning this. I'm now going to use a typical nail prep. You can use rubbing alcohol, you can use Jamberry's nail prep, or with young children a lot of people also like to use just plain white vinegar. I use a paper towel and I rub all of her nails down. I then rub each nail down individually as I'm applying them. So I've taken my tweezers and I've pulled off my, her pinky wrap. I'm going to heat it up. Now with children I tend to superheat the wrap a little bit so that it stays warmer a little bit longer, gives me a little bit longer to work with. Young kids don't like to place their fingers in front of a heat source, so this just helps to get it uh, nice and warm. I place the wrap down, lots of pressure, using my fingernail and my finger to apply that pressure. Now you can see it's sticking out well beyond her nail, and I'm going to trim that later. So it's up to her cuticle, but not touching her cuticle. I then leave that finger to cool. I apply my rubbing alcohol to the next nail, give a little bit of a blow so that it dries nice and quick, and I then heat up my next wrap, and I apply it the same way. Now I know the wraps are warm enough because they are curling from the heat. You want them to be starting to curl. And I apply that wrap the same way I applied the first. Now once this wrap is applied, I can then go back. The first wrap is now cooled enough that I can trim it. Now her nails are too short and flimsy for me to file at a 90 degree angle like I would with an adult or even an older child. So I use nail clippers and I clip the wrap and the nail at the same time. So when I'm applying the wraps, her nails are actually a little bit on the long side. Uh, I go, oh, your nails need to be trimmed. They're getting sharp. Let's put on some new wraps. And so I use the, the nail clippers and I clip her fingernail and the wrap at the same time. It gives me a nice clean edge. I don't have to worry about filing. If she was older, I would then take that freezer Ziploc bag and I would wrap it around that nail and apply heat directly to that nail and freezer bag. She's a little too young, so once I've done that clipping, I actually just leave it. Here I'm applying her middle finger. Now I don't place it quite right, so I, can't, I do have the ability to adjust it. I look at it and go, ah, it's a little too close to the one side, so I readjust it, still a little too close, I readjust it one more time. Now at this point, the wrap has cooled down significantly. So I push the wrap down using my nails, lots of pressure. I then take my tweezers and I hold them in front of my heat source so that they get warm, not too hot because I don't want to burn her. And then I rub around the wrap with, the, with those hot tweezers. Now if she was older, I could, I could also then um, apply heat directly to her nails. I do this for all of her nails and then I've got the final ending product right there. You can see beautiful shiny glossy nails. Allow four to eight hours after your wrap application for the adhesive to cool and cure prior to bathing or swimming. Enjoy! If you have any questions or concerns or problems, don't hesitate to contact me or your local Jamberry representative. You can find my information in the description bar below. I will talk to you guys for my next video. Bye!